just as we have a variety of words and phrases to describe expressions, we have a variety of words and phrases that we use to describe equality or inequality. So I'm going to show you a table with some of these words and phrases. You can download this table from a link below the video or from Blackboard. Now we've already talked about equality. X is equal to 3, X is 3, X and 3 are equal. We've also talked about things not being equal. The main thing I want to call your attention to is the way we refer to the inequalities that include the equals sign. Right? Remember the difference between less than versus less than or equal to is exactly the or equal to part. If x is less than 3, then x is not allowed to be 3. If x is less than or equal to 3, then x is also allowed to be 3. Two of the phrases that describe being less than or equal to sound like they're talking about something being more. Right, this x is at most 3 means 3 is the largest value that x can possibly have, which means x is smaller than 3 or the same as 3. x is not more than 3, that means the same thing. It means that 3 is the largest value that x can possibly have. More generally, if we take any phrase that describes being greater than and take the opposite, so if I say x is not more than 3, x is not larger than 3, x does not exceed 3, all of those mean less than or equal to. If we negate greater than, that means less than or equal to. If we negate less than, that means greater than or equal to. If x is not less than 3, that means 3 is the smallest value x could possibly take. That's a little bit tricky to get used to, but once you get used to it, it makes, it makes sense. Let's see an example. Suppose we're told that the sum of 2 and a number exceeds 5. So, exceeds is the verb in this sentence. It means greater than. So we're going to have an inequality with a greater than in it. The two things that we're comparing are the sum of 2 and a number. So sum means add them together. What are we adding together? 2 and a number. And we're comparing that to 5. The sum of 2 and a number exceeds 5. Let's see one more example. Suppose we're told that 6 less than a number is at most 7. Again, our first task is to identify the verb. In this case, well, is is the verb, but is at most serves as a verb phrase. And is at most means less than or equal to. What are the two things being compared? The first is 6 less than a number. Note the distinction. The verb phrase is less than means that you need a less than symbol. The adjective phrase less than means that there's subtraction involved. In this case, 6 less than a number means that number minus 6. What are we comparing that to? The number 7. n minus 6 
is less than or equal to SEP 